Good afternoon. It's the Laurie Tobin's Cooking with Kids show. And today it's the chicken show. And I have a guest helper, Samantha. And Hi. Samantha's going to give me a hand. Thank you for coming out. You're welcome. So this is the before chicken and this is the after. Just kidding. I, I like I like the rubber chicken. He doesn't squeak though, unfortunately. So we're going to do a couple dishes with chicken. If you buy a roaster, you can get a couple meals off of it depending on what you like and what you'd like to do with it. We're going to start with the roast chicken, the baked chicken. And it's baked chicken. It's a two to three pound chicken. Then you add some seasoning to it and veggies and you pop it into the oven. Samantha is cutting up some celery. Some, we're going to cut celery, potatoes, carrots, and onion. And we're going to put them in a casserole dish. I'm going to put the bird right in there. I've used about two tablespoons of olive oil, extra virgin. And I'm just going to put that on the chicken and rub it around. And that's just to help the seasoning stick. I like to use a bunch of different spices when I'm doing um, seasoning. So I have Mrs. Dash in there. I've got a, a tumbler that's got all kinds of things in there. There's, um, let's see, thyme, rosemary, and we also have some garlic powder as well. And so I'm gonna sprinkle that on the bird. Samantha and I are cutting up some vegetables and we're gonna put them around the chicken so they can all cook at the same exact time. And we're even gonna cut a few extras because we'll need them for the soup. We're going to do soup after we're done with the baked chicken. I like onion. I asked Samantha specifically what she liked for vegetables because you wanna buy vegetables again, whatever the kids are gonna eat. You can always try a little bit different, but you wanna just make sure it's something that your kids are going to like and to eat. And this will pop in the oven and it goes in about 350. The size of this with all the vegetables, that's going to take about two hours. You can buy the chickens with the thermometers in them that pop up or you could get a meat thermometer and check and see. Or you can cut into it and see if it's done. So however, but you need to check it before you finished and make sure it's done well because you want to have cooked meat. Okay. So one more onion over here. Don't worry about it. We'll get it off the floor. So one of the meals we're going to be making coming up with the extra chicken is the broccoli and chicken. And that's my husband and son's, one of their favorite meals. And it even has garlic and cheese and spaghetti in it. I like doing roasted chickens in the winter because, you know, it, it warms up your house, it smells good. What do you like to cook at home? What do you guys cook? Um, we make homemade spaghetti. Um, the pasta and everything? Not the pasta, but um, we do the sauce and stuff like that from scratch. And we make homemade apple pie too. Wow. Um, we make... We make homemade soup from scratch. Well, we're going to be doing that with the chicken, the chicken soup, so it should That's be good. I mentioned it. Yeah, they look very good. <laughs> <laughs> so you like to ride horses? Yep, I've been riding for six years. Wow. Well, you're tall, so that probably they're probably a little afraid of you because you're tall, right? No, the horse that I ride, he likes to help button all the time. Oh, well, he must like you. I think he does it out of anger. Oh, <laughs> well, you are braver than I am. <laughs> and you also like to surf? Yep, I've been surfing since I was four. Wow. So. Do you go out in the winter like those other crazy people I see that put the wetsuits on? <laughs> but I mean, it looks like fun. Yeah, um, every once in a while I will. I haven't been able to get out to surf lately. Okay. But but you've been in the winter? Yes, I have. Wow. The latest I've been was last year, I think it was, and it was November. Wow. I'm going to give you this, 
and you are going to put some of these vegetables around that chicken. While she's doing that, while Samantha's doing that, I am going to open up the oven because I already did, by the magic of TV, I did another chicken earlier because this would be about two hours of waiting, two to three hours, and we've got a lot to do today. So excuse me for a moment. Off she goes. I always put an extra pan underneath when I'm cooking in case the juices run over because then it's less cleaning of this, the oven, which who wants to clean if you can avoid it? Yeah. Okay, so now we have this beautiful chicken. So watch your hands. Let me pull this over. Let me put something down and we'll put her out. on the plate with the vegetables and we're going to get a few plates and we're going to plate it up and have some delicious chicken. It's funny, I was in Korea in October and they have black chickens and it's, um, it's a delicacy and they're, they're very small and they're quite good, but you know, it's, they have them over in, in Asia. I'm sure they have them in other parts of the world. I should have been adventurous and try that, but we got our chickens from Riddles. Mm -hmm. And they had the, the little, the little little chickens in. They're very good. Okay. I'm gonna save the, um, the drippings because we're gonna use that, excuse me. We're gonna use that in our soup. We'll add that for part of our soup when we're doing the stock. Oh, it's beautiful. Yep. The seasoning is very nice. Okay. Chicken meat there. And put some vegetables on there too. Are you gonna try some? Sure. Same exact recipe as what we just made. Try a bite, let me know what you think. With a knife if you need it. Alright. It's good. Is it good? Yeah. Alright, so this is meal one with the chicken. So everybody gets to have some chicken dinner. Then, through the magic of TV, we have some chicken bones. So excuse me for just a moment while I go grab them. Samantha, that chicken was so delicious, but we've, we've kind of picked it clean. So I guess it's time to put the chicken in the water so we can let it simmer so we can make some chicken soup. So this is the carcass that's what's left of the bird. Could you please put that in there? It's okay, just drop it in. And then I'm gonna put that in there. And you wanna put a lot of water in there. And then just let it simmer. That's all you have to do. Let it simmer, I would say, two to three hours or more because it takes a while, everything falls off, and after two or three hours, you're going to have this wonderful broth. You strain out the chicken parts and then you're left with liquid. From there, you want to add some chopped vegetables. Let those simmer. Then when it's done, you add some chicken meat. And there you go, you've got chicken soup. Do you ever in your family hold on to your um, chicken broth and freeze it? Nope. Okay, well you can freeze it. So say we didn't want to make the soup today. Say we didn't want to make soup. So we would take and we would let it cool after the three or four hours of simmering and then let it cool and then put it in containers and freeze it. And then another time when you want to make soup, you're there. You just have to add fresh vegetables, mm -hmm. add some chicken meat, or I cook chicken, like I'll get chicken breast because my son likes um, chicken broth, and mm -hmm. I will cook chicken in chicken broth. 
and he'll eat it and he thinks it's great. So it works for me. And it's, it's a pretty easy thing to, to use. And you can use it for all, you can use it for gravies. It's just a lot of things that you can do with it. So Sam and I have had the, the chicken removed from the water and now we're putting the vegetables back into the soup. So go right ahead and pour that in. Okay, terrific. Now we have the vegetables, the broth, and we need to put chicken in it now. Put the chicken in, please. And we're just going to stir that around. Let that heat up. And then we have chicken soup. Meal number two from the chicken. Hey, Sam, why did the chicken cross mouse out? I don't know why. Because it wanted to get to the coop. The Harvard <laughs> coop! Cambridge joke. Okay. So, I'm going to let it heat up for a moment because that chicken meat was cold, which it would be because you're going to cook your vegetables and then after the vegetables are cooked, then you add the chicken. But the chicken wouldn't be cooking the whole time because it would disintegrate. So you would want your chicken to go in last and then as soon as it warms up, then you can eat it. So that should just be another minute. I put more seasonings in there. So I used the seasonings that I had for the for the chicken. So I had uh, um, Mrs. Dash, and I put thyme, I put rosemary, I put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Is there any spice that you love or that you hate? No, not really. You'll eat anything? Yeah. That's good. Because you want to make sure whatever you're putting in for spices, your children like them. You know, my son, he, I don't tell him, I just kind of just put it in. I figure what he doesn't know won't kill him. Okay, this looks good. Let's try it. It's nice and hot. There you go. It's kind of a chunky soup. I did not simmer the vegetables. I didn't make the vegetables really small. I made them a little bit bigger. It's hot, but it's good. Mm -hmm. It's very good. All right, so that is meal number two from the chicken. I bet you can't wait to see if I have another joke, huh? <laughs> now we're doing the chicken, broccoli, garlic pasta dish with the cheese. So what we have here is I did frozen broccoli. I just cooked it up in the microwave. This is chicken from the chicken that we've been cooking. Cooked pasta, but you can be boiling it at the same time. It's whatever works. Uh, we have cheese. This is the, it's got Parmesan and Monterey Jack. It's the three cheeses right here. Garlic. We chose, I chose to do two types of garlic. It's whatever's easy. So this is chopped garlic that I chopped fresh. And this is garlic paste. This is a butter substitute. And Nobody can tell the difference so far in my family, so I'm not going to go with real butter if I can use this substitute because it's better for their health. Okay, so, and this is, this is the cream. It's cream and milk. So the first thing we're going to do is put the butter in there, and then we're going to do the garlics. And I'm a big fan of garlic. I, don't, I think you can never get enough garlic. Let me use a spoon. That might help you. So I use a lot of garlic. I like garlic. I like the flavor of it. It's important not to burn it because if you burn it, it tastes bitter. So we're going to put this on a low heat on the stove. I know, doesn't it? I like garlic. Okay. So I'm going to just go like that. Just toss those in together and here we go. Okay. So I've got that on a low heat and I'm going to give you something to stir that with. I think we've got wooden spatulas right here. Here you go. So you want to melt that, and then when that melts, the next thing, God, you can stir it around, get that melting. Then we're going to add in the chicken, and then the milk. How are we doing? Is it melting? Yep, it's melting. Just a bit slow. Okay, we'll add a little bit more heat, see if we can get that. And then we can add the chicken. It's okay to add the chicken to this too. But we want to make sure everything's melted before we put the butter in. And you just want to, you know, make it all saute it up together. 
it takes about two to three minutes. It doesn't take long. And then, half the milk and the broccoli will stay right here and the pasta will stay here until we're ready. Do you ever cook this meal at home? Um, I haven't cooked this meal, but I cooked the soup before. You've done the soup? Mm -hmm. Do you think you might try this one? Yep. I crush my garlic before I chop it because mm -hmm. it supposedly releases some of the oils, which is very, garlic's very healthy for you. Yep. And as long as everybody's eating garlic, it's not a big deal. It's just if one person has it and one person does it, you may kind of notice something on their breath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's good. Okay, that looks good. I think we're gonna add in the cream next. You don't want the cream to boil. You just want it to get lukewarm. Keep stirring it. You just want it to get, you know, warm, but not so that it's boiling. Boiling isn't good, because that will curdle it and it also could burn your cream. So you just gotta pay attention. It's not like the chicken where you could toss it in the oven and check on it in two hours. You really have to be there and be conscious of what you're doing. So, okay, that's looking pretty good. I don't think it's quite up to the temp that we need it yet, but it's not bad. So we have the hot broccoli. What I'm going to do is nuke the spaghetti just for a second or two, just to warm it up. So as soon as you feel like that's warm enough, we're gonna put the broccoli in. All right. So, and again, as you know, you don't put metal into the microwave. So I'm put this right down here. Is it wet? So we have nice broccoli. Okay, that's good. This is a nice winter's meal too because yeah. it's warm and it's you know it's got the pasta, it's yeah. got the, the feel good, it mm -hmm. makes the kitchen smell yeah. nice. Especially with the garlic garlic makes stuff smell nice. It does, it sure does. Okay, let's see yeah. how this pasta is doing. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so now we have the spaghetti. It's actually the angel here. So, I usually do the pasta first. Samantha, I will get you, I'll get you something to scoop on the chicken. Here we go, here's a spoon. All right, so what you do is you scoop it up Get it on your plate, plate it up. And then I'm gonna let you put as much cheese on it as you like. There you go. Thank you. And tell me what you think. And you can also pour in a little bit more of the gravy too. Thank okay, you. you're welcome. Have you ever had this dish before? I've had something like it, but not like this. So. Not that you made here in my kitchen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it a thumbs up? Mm -hmm. All right, so now we've got three cooked meals with chicken. The next one we're going to do is we're going to do cold chicken and things that we can do with it that will, you know, you can bring it to, kids can bring it to school for lunch or you can uh, have it as, for lunch at home in a salad. So we're going to try some lettuces that I don't know if you've had it before. I know some people have, some haven't. Arugula. So in one moment, we'll put that together. And now we have cold chicken to do some things with. So Samantha's gonna be making a chicken salad to eat and I'm gonna make a sandwich. But before then, I like cranberry sauce and I use it when I'm having chicken. So I have a big bag of cranberry sauce. Cranberries, and on the back, it gives me the recipe on how to make cranberry sauce. So these are the cranberries that I've had frozen and I'm letting them defrost and I'll follow the directions. 
you add water, you add sugar, you let them simmer. And then, voila, you have cranberry sauce. So I'm gonna use that in my sandwich. So for my sandwich, I have a couple of items here. A mustard, mayonnaise, and I also have the cranberry sauce. We're using arugula. Now you told me you have eaten arugula. Yes. Okay. Can you describe it in case somebody out there has never tried it? Well, I've had it once, but that was a long time ago. Okay. Well, it's kind of peppery tasting. Mm -hmm. It's different than regular lettuce, and I just thought, let's try arugula. Yeah. I like arugula. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, we're going to make our sandwiches. I'm making a sandwich, and you're going to make your salad. Yeah. And poor Mr. Chicken, he's almost down to his last few minutes on my show. He was, a, he was a good sport, though, I think. He didn't squawk too much. Okay, let's go. Let's see. I want to put some cranberry sauce in first. Lettuce. The lettuce, so. I like roll-ups because they are fun, and you can roll them up, and they're flat, and you can put lots of stuff in them. Do you ever do bread roll-ups for things? Yep. Do you make your own lunch before you go to school? Uh, no, my mom does that the night before because she likes to do, like, she likes to make spaghetti and stuff like that. How do you how do you eat spaghetti in school? Um, they give us a well, we have a thermos. Wow. We have purple onion. You have a thermos and that helps yep. keep it warm. Yep. You should have your mother on the show. <laughs> I make things, but you know, my son's picky, but I guess if you have three. Cranberry sauce. I never knew that you like make cranberry sauce this way till I got older. Mm -hmm. I'm one of eight. Yeah. So my mother bought the canned cranberry. Yeah. But if I had eight kids, I would buy the canned cranberry <laughs> too. But I like fresh cranberry sauce. I think it's really delicious and it's 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 different from you know the glutinous stuff that you get out of a can. Yeah. So I'm going to put a little bit of mayonnaise on, too. Uh, this is a sandwich that I saw down the Cape. There's a place that makes something. I'm not going to say the name of it. But they do a, um, a Thanksgiving sandwich. A lot of places, too, actually, to tell you the truth. So I'm going to roll up my sandwich and see how it is. So anyways, chicken's very, very versatile before I put food in my mouth. It's very versatile. You can do a lot with it. and. It's something that if, you know, don't you feel like you've learned a few new things that you're gonna try when you yeah. get home? So the more that kids get involved with cooking and preparing food, then they own it, it's theirs, and then they wanna do it. Mm -hmm. So. Same thing happened when my parents made their mashed potatoes. I wouldn't try it until I started making it myself. Exactly, exactly. And different vegetables, like my son, he'll eat peppers now, so. But carrots, peppers, cucumbers, he's getting there. Mm -hmm. So, and if you have a garden, you're all set. Well, before I bite this, I just wanted to thank everybody to com for coming and viewing Samantha and I on my Laurie Tobin's Chicken Show, show number seven. Thank you and come back again sometime. <laughs>